Hello, my name is Goran Pantra and today I would like to introduce to you our ICHN laser driver series. The ICHN laser drivers enable a spike-free switching of laser or LED diodes with well-defined current pulses. Pulse widths are adjustable down to 2 nanoseconds with rise and fall time of less than 1 nanosecond. The switch and therefore the pulse length is controlled via the LVDS input. The laser diode current is determined by the voltage at the control input. And the output channel can be operated up to 3 amp pulse current depending on frequency, duty cycle and heat dissipation. Laser supply voltages of up to 30 volts are possible and this allows you to stack or connect series more than just one laser device. Both ICHN and ICHN3 products are available in a small DFN8 3x3mm package and therefore is an idle solution where limited installation space is required. The ICHN fits perfect mid to close detection range, which can be in a few centimeter or up to 10 meter distance. Typical applications are 3D imaging, proximity sensor, iris, gesture recognition, CCTV illumination, VR, ARR, and similar. In these HN1M elevation board examples, we have installed different laser diode types with different package versions. In your application, your diode would go here so that you can directly attach an SMD TO5, TO18, TO52, a 5.6 mm or 9 mm diode to the HN1M module. So this HN1M module is the easiest and fastest way if you want to operate your laser diode with ICHN on the bench for research or testing. Here you can see a typical IC house laser pulse measurement setup, which consists of a programmable nanosecond pulse generator for fast laser diode drivers. Uh, we call it IC149, this one, and the high speed photo receiver IC212, this one, and an 11 gigahertz sampling oscilloscope IC227. This configuration is equipped with the mentioned HN1M elevation board and corresponding laser source. So if you change the resistance on the HN1M board by turning the potentiometer, you can see that the pulse height changes, but the pulse width remains constant. If you change the pulse width at the LVDS input with our nanosecond pulse generator, the pulse height remains stable. More information about ICHN and our laser toolkit can be found on our website. Thank you for watching the video.